and this new moon whew, is here to change your life. and welcome to Lena Mystic, where we embrace our spiritual awakenings by identifying our personal power and authentic self. I'm here to help you to decode spiritual signs and synchronicity so that you can get on your authentic path to purpose. Today's video is just going to cover the Libra new moon. What's the energy here? What are we going to be dealing with? Let me just tell you. This new moon did not come to play. This Mercury retrograde did not come to play. Pluto going direct. I think Saturn's going direct as well. All of this stuff happening right now is extremely powerful. You may be feeling this sexual energy, this sexual tension, or this desire to find your soulmate, or even a desire to improve your life. You may be um, reaching out to people to make amends. Um, that could be a Mercury retrograde thing as well. Or even, you know, with this Libra new moon happening, you're making amends, you're getting rid of people in your life that are no longer are serving your greatest and highest good. And that's what the new moon is definitely for. Like all new moons are for that. But this Libra new moon specifically is focusing on those areas, focusing on your love and work life, your home life, and what you really want to bring into your life, what's not serving you versus what is. And let's just say it's extremely powerful. Um, you may be fe feeling a burst of low vibrations or even a burst of high vibrations. Either way, you're learning how to find that balance. And this new moon whew, is here to change your life. So I wanted to go ahead and let you guys know that this is the perfect time to manifest your soulmate, to manifest your work life, your dream life that you desire and you so deserve. So if you have a job that you want, manifest that. If you're going to interviews and stuff right now, manifest the job that you want. Manifest the coworkers that you want working at your job. Be very specific because this new moon, like I said, did not come here to play. <laughs> I'm loving the energy of this new moon because it is so inspirational, so motivational, and it's kind of giving you this, this push to knowing that you can have what you want because you'll notice that you'll say stuff and it'll happen. And a lot of these people that you've been looking for apologies from that have kind of mistreated you, they're going to give you that apology. And it's your choice whether to accept it or not, but remember that when you hold on to stuff, it does become a poison for you rather than that other person most of the times. So just be cautious of that. And if you need help uh, through your trauma forgiveness process, I actually just published a book that really specifically caters to the trauma and the forgiveness part of that journey. So you can go ahead and purchase that. That'll be in the description box below. And it's an amazing book. I mean, I know I wrote it, but like, I don't really toot my own horn that much, but that book is amazing. It's helped me. That process is very secretive to me, but I decided to share it because I felt that it was necessary. It was very personal to me rather than secretive. Doing that process throughout my life has really, you know, created some change that I desired and I didn't know that I really wanted it because I didn't know it was ach achievable or attainable. I think the word is attainable. I didn't know that it was attainable to feel that sense of peace about someone or something that hurt me so deeply. This is why I haven't been really doing videos. My pets have been off the chart. My uh, son has just been wow. We just moved into a new place, so just bear with me. <laughs> but a lot of things uh, just changed when I did this process and it helped me to really be retrospective about my life and how I'm negatively and positively contributing to it based off of if I've forgiven certain people or not. I've noticed that the process of forgiveness and like trauma healing is a lifelong process. I write about that in the book. It is a lifelong process, but you can work through certain areas of your life and then once you get through those certain areas, you can work on the other ones. And it helps you to become a more high vibrational being. So if you're interested in that book, it is definitely in the description box. And you're more than likely to, more than welcome 
<laughs> Am I speaking affirmations on here? <laughs> you are more than welcome to purchase it or reach out to me to ask a few more questions. Uh, you can do that on my website or through email or whatever, whatever I got on here. Now I picked some cards for today. I haven't looked at them yet, so let me go ahead and look at them. We got the Princess of Autumn, Nine of Summer, Five of Summer. Ooh, okay, so what does this feel? I definitely have butterflies in my belly. So that is most likely telling me that things are changing tremendously for us, which makes sense. It's a new moon. It brings change. It brings wonder. It brings beauty. It brings uh, motivation. Um, I'm also getting, some of us are bloating a lot right now, and I wonder what that has to do with maybe a shift in our like organs or something from the new moon that is very strange like i feel like that's fishing but i am feeling something about your organs cleansing themselves um okay i think i'm getting it not only are your organs cleansing themselves but you are being you're beginning to desire a more healthy lifestyle that's what i'm getting like you're desiring to eat more vegetables or more fruits or drink more water like this is this might be something you've been trying to do lately but this new moon is really helping you to get the strength to do those things even though some people are like it's so easy to drink water um there are a lot of people who don't drink water so some reason it's not that easy for them but this new moon specifically is helping us to make healthier choices for our lifestyle and not just doing diets like quick diets but really making it a life changing um lifestyle so let's really get into the card so we got princess of autumn which says studious responsible cheerful mischievous Ooh, mischievous so what are you getting into i'm being nosy Happy news about your career. This is great because if you are manifesting this Libra new moon, October 6, 2021, I almost said S-H-I-T, but that is changing, okay? It's changing your fate. It's changing when it comes to business life because you have been trying to manifest this certain uh, business lifestyle and you're going to be able to welcome that into your life now because... The universe knows, God knows, source knows that this is what you desire in your life and it's kind of been like something source has been working on. So if you've been seeing numbers such as 911 or 1111, 111, 511, um, 411, if you've been seeing the number 11 a lot lately, this is talking about your new beginning. This is talking about your faith in that new beginning that you desired. And it's also talking about your intuition, like being able to use your mind as a a, a superpower basically it's a god-given power to be able to use your mind to to allow your intelligence and your inner wisdom come through it says happy news about your career promotions or scholarships so congratulations to all of this happy news happening in each of our lives you're amazing and you should know that tell yourself that every day my phone is going off the charts today okay off the charts <laughs> let me turn this off so well thought out plans that go perfectly. Oh, isn't that good to hear? Everything that you've been manifesting is really falling into play right now and I'm loving it. You may have been extremely tired lately. That's because you're tapping into the divine, tapping into source, and you're going full force in your dreams and your aspirations. It's a beautiful thing, guys. You're drawing from that God-given power, and that's why you may be exhausted because lately you haven't been using it, or beforehand you weren't using it as much, but now you're tapping into that. Needing a little push to get going. This is what I just said. I said that we're getting this push to be healthier from this new moon. We're getting this push to love ourselves more, to eat healthier, just to cherish us in this, this um, shell that we're in. And our body is our shell. So we're cherishing our body more. We're cherishing um, the love of our lives more, the people in our lives. We're cherishing even the simple things like our hair. Like I just decided to lock my hair because I realized I really do not feel like doing my hair every day. Like it's a real thing. So I had to figure out what's best for me. Like what do I enjoy doing? And I was like, I enjoy waking up in the morning and having a spray it with water, put a little bit of oil in it, shake it out and then leave, okay? I don't enjoy having to to spend a whole day on wash days like I already do that on my son I'm not looking forward to taking two days out of the week to <laughs> do my hair that's not happening so I'm going on like a month being locked and I think taking care of your hair whatever works best for you 
is so so crucial because i really do believe that your hair is somehow i mean i think all parts of us have their own their own reason okay they have their own god is not like source is not stupid source doesn't just give you unnecessary stuff i feel like we were put here with these things for a reason i don't know what those reasons are for each of us because it's all different for each of us but i know that every time i've let my hair grow i've taken care of my hair i've felt stronger a stronger connection to god and i know that sounds crazy but some of you guys may know what i'm talking about I really do feel like the longer you have your hair and you manage that energy that's within yourself and your hair and all of that, it's the stronger that you get, okay? Your hair does have energy in it, which is why I love to sage my hair, although like I know people are probably smelling me and they're like, what is she doing at home? Like, why does she smell like that? <laughs> like people who don't know the smell of sage. But all I'm saying is take care of your body, love your body, cherish your body, and um, allow yourself to see what you look like naturally as well as with your beautiful accent such as eyeliner, mascara, or lipstick. Allow yourself to see what you look like naturally too so you don't forget how beautiful you really are without those things. I think that it's amazing to wear makeup. I think that makeup is so cool. It's like jewelry to me. Um, it's like clothes to me. I mean, we don't go around walking naked all the time so why can't I put something on my face? Like, I don't know why people judge people who wear makeup and stuff because i think that it's beautiful all i'm saying is just to love yourself naturally to make sure that you love yourself without that makeup on make sure that you love yourself without those clothes on make sure that you love yourself without these material items because you are divine creation and that this libra new moon is accentuating that is highlighting your natural beauty your natural god-given gifts your natural ability to be amazing and to be divine so five of summer it says trust that there is a reason for everything <laughs> didn't i just say, say that i was like each part of our body and everything has its own purpose we don't know what it is all the time, but we do and we, we do need to trust that. We should trust that God had us with this ability or this beauty for a certain reason. My hair is this way for a certain reason. My eyes are this way for a certain reason to me specifically, okay? And maybe for someone else to see, you know? All right, so trust that there is a reason for everything that happens. Remove yourself from the negative emotions of others. I said this earlier in the video. You're going to start removing yourself from people who do not serve you anymore. That doesn't mean you have to expel them from your life, but you can take a break. There is nothing wrong with taking a break, especially from toxic people, okay? Nothing wrong with that. Take a break. I don't care if it's your sister, your brother, your mother, your father, your grandmother. Take a little break regather yourself your strength and your personal power and then when you're ready take that step again focusing on that which frightens or worries you um be cautious about that be very cautious about that because what happens is especially around new moons and full moons i mean all the time it's a powerful time to manifest but these new moons and these full moons are specifically really strong really really strong for manifestation and you do not want to focus on that which frightens you. So if you can, on this new moon, figure out what frightens you, okay? Just write down like a keyword, those things that frighten you. After you write down that keyword, switch it up. Let's say I am scared to be homeless, okay? So I would just write the word homeless and then I would change that to, I always have a home and a roof over my head. I always have shelter. I always have a shelter that is destined for me. Like change that, shift that so that you can manifest that into your life so that you can begin to subconsciously focus on making sure you always have a roof over your head. You always have a safe place to live. Nine of summer, 
wishes come true this new moon i'm telling y'all is not here to play it's not here to play write your wishes um i did hear about this really cool autumn thing that you can do it's like gathering leaves outside and then writing on those leaves what you want and then burning them but i'm talking about dry leaves like the dry leaves that are on the ground writing what you want in your life writing little affirmations and things that you want to happen in your life and then burning it so wishes that come true dreams fulfilled a magical time of life oh uh, i can feel it i've been feeling it for the last three days uh, my son's been off the charts like i don't know how much energy he's had but it's been ridiculous and my pets buck wild like my cat tries to escape every time i open the door now and he does not care he runs out the door like he doesn't care he does not care and it's tragic because i don't feel like chasing him i really don't but guys this is a magical time everybody's going to be feeling that energy your pets are feeling that energy your um your family your family's feeling that energy your children are feeling that energy your heart your mind your body spirit all of that is feeling this energy your plants all of my plants just popped out new leaves, all of them. And I'm like, show out, okay? Go ahead, show out. I mean, you see that new leaf right here? Show out, all of my plants are pregnant with new leaves. All of my plants are thriving right now. Like one of my plants, it's a very slow growing plant. It's a Calethea, but like Musica or something like that. It popped out four new leaves. It's one of the slowest like growing plants that I'm like, either I'm a green witch or like this new moon's really showing out. And I feel like I myself have changed so much. Like I'm embracing more passion and vulnerability now. Closer to this moon, I started to get more like like cuddly and like I want to be all up on my son and my husband and like I just want to hug you guys all the time although I do that a lot already it's just like more and you may have noticed a lot of changes within yourself as well and I've noticed for me it's been more passion and more love more like just vulnerability and really figuring out what I want at this time so you guys gotta let me know what you've been feeling during this Libra new moon I know it's been extremely powerful and I did want to let you know business ventures and love life very specific at this time so manifest what you want in those things if you are already in a relationship you want a certain area to heal write about how it's healed if you are in a job already but you're not quite sure how you feel there write that you were sure write what you want to happen there write that you want an award ceremony and you want to be elected for it or nominated for a certain award if you want a particular job or status or you want your video on youtube to go viral <laughs> that's so random go ahead and do it just do it just do it okay stop waiting stop waiting just do it okay go do it guys you deserve it Thank you so much for watching. I just saw 1919. What is that? Angel number two. Angel number two, y'all. Okay, so have faith. Have faith that your wishes are coming true. Your dreams are fulfilled. Everything is coming to light, guys. These are your cards that you got. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Don't look at my nails. Okay, we're leaving now. Um, <laughs> and I will see you in another video. Make sure you go ahead and like, share, subscribe, and comment down below.